voted one of the most livable cities in the United States, home to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and known by many for their metallic namesake, Steel. That's changing. Now Steel has to share center stage with another medal, Brass. The River City Brass Band of Pittsburgh is the only professional brass band in the entire United States. These accomplished musicians will bring their musical message to Australia as they represent the United States in the Australian Bicentennial Celebration. It's expensive to send a 27-member band halfway around the world. It became possible with the combined financial assistance of two corporate giants, Amway and Pittsburgh Plate Glass Industries. It is very much appreciated by the foundation. The support which has made this tour possible to Australia. I'd like to introduce uh, Richard M. DeVos, president uh, of Amway, Michigan, who is the principal sponsor and underwriter of this tour. Rich? There we are. That's what you are. I see. Well, it's a pleasure here to join with the River City Brass Band. More than that, it's an honor to be associated with Pittsburgh and the PPG Company. You know, they got a lot of glass. We make glass cleaner. <laughs> I tell you, you guys are right down my alley. <laughs> so we appreciate that. When we reviewed this entire matter, uh, historically, we've been sponsoring symphonies. And then we asked our people in Australia, whether they'd like to have us help with the Chicago Symphony or whether they'd like to have the River City Brass Band. And overwhelmingly, all of our people in Australia said, we want the brass band. I guess, you know, I'm, I'm a brass band devotee. Brass bands, as uh, many of you know, were once one of the principal means of entertainment in our country, in the towns and cities across the country. My understanding is that there are about 20,000 of these bands uh, at the turn of the century. And uh, today, as I understand, there's only about 100. And there's only one pr truly professional brass band, and that's the River City Brass Band. So from Pittsburgh uh, to Australia, we send you our best, the River City Brass Band. We loan it to you for the month of March, and we ask you to make sure that they come back. Thank you very much. You all enjoy yourselves. Well, like the Australia's Cup, uh, we can't promise that you'll get the orchestra back. But uh, given the precedent, uh, I'm not all that confident we'll be able to keep it. I think. Uh, it's extremely humbling in many respects to be here in this, this beautiful city and to see what a lot of corporate effort and community effort has gone into helping us celebrate our bicentennial. And it's with the help of people like these gentlemen here and you that uh, we're going to grow and develop even more. We look forward to decades and decades and decades more of a fruitful relationship even if the band comes back. Thank you very, very much for what you're doing. Uh, our heartfelt thanks. And we're looking forward immensely to the visit. Thank you very much. I think it's going to be a marvelous. I mean, just, I'm kind of storing my gut right now, just having come from it. And uh, I think it's going to be really a marvelous, experience for the band being in Australia. I think we've all known that from the beginning. But I think that the relationship with Amway is the kind of relationship I know that, that Joan and I have been looking for because heretofore what's happened is corporations give us money and say, here, go do your thing. And this is the first time where we've had people want to sit down with us and plan so that the thing is, is a really successful enterprise.
PPG Industries have shown that music can span the oceans of the world and bring countries closer. The United States and Australia, two great countries separated by thousands of miles of ocean, drawn nearer with a musical gift of friendship.